Hey, this is Kirk at strutmasters.com. Today we're doing a rear install on a BMW X5. The tools you're gonna need for this job are gonna be a half inch impact gun, a pair of snips, a flathead screwdriver, a couple of half inch and 3 8 size sockets, a half inch extension, a half inch ratchet, 3 8 battery gun, and a pry bar. The first step is to raise the vehicle and remove the wheel. The next step, you want to remove this panel from underneath the car on the right side. Now that you have access to the valve block, you can loosen this red and blue airline to relieve the pressure in the rear airbag. Crack these fittings just enough to let the air escape. And once the air escapes, tighten them back up. Once you let all the air escape, you can place the panel back on the car. On the rear airbag, the bottom of the spring perch, you push these tabs in to release the bottom of the airbag. Once the bottom of the bag is released, you can twist the top of the bag counterclockwise. Pull the airbag out. Once the airbag's removed, you can remove the airline. You can remove this fitting. Once the airline fit is removed, to make this easier, you take a pair of snips, cut the boot, so you can get the line out. Next, you want to remove the sway bar end link from the lower control arm. Then remove just the lower shock bolt. This is just gonna give you more play for your spring to go in. Next, install the bottom spring seat puck onto the spring seat perch. The next step, inside the trunk, you wanna lift the floor and pull back the carpeting so you can gain access to the hole where your spring seat puck is gonna go. Next, get somebody to hold the puck into place where the top of the spring will go into the body of the vehicle and bolts into place. Get someone to hold the nut inside the trunk while you tighten the bolt down from the bottom. Insert the pry bar, like so, so you can push down on the knuckle. Insert the spring, top end first. Push down on the knuckle with your pry bar. Make sure to install your bottom shot bolt back into place. Make sure to bolt your sway bar back into place.
place your wheel back on the vehicle. Install your lug nut. Actually, the lug studs. Get them all hand started. Tighten them down. 